Uh, so we got we got an interesting one here. This is showing up a 90, 88, and then it'll drop down to an 09. So let's see. Let's see what happens here. This is probably a piece of iron, but it's just got a I don't know. It's got a it's got a unique sound to it. Makes me still getting a high pitch and uh, that's interesting enough for me to dig it even though I know it's probably iron but maybe be, maybe not let's see what happens open up this hole let's see what we get now once we do that It was iron. Y'all hear how it's broken? But boy, it was sure sounding off. Let's see what it is, though. Let's see what it is. Huh, that's why. It's an old ring, guys. That's why it was giving us that nice sound. Those, those circular objects like that will definitely, definitely get you going. So, uh, yeah, still iron though, but we'll take that. Nice little artifact. So we'll take that and we'll keep on moving and see what else we can find. Right, guys, so we got a 6064 that was underneath this root using the sensitive program. And I believe we got a button. Let's take a look and see what that button is. I think it's a two-piece button. Oh yeah, it is. It is a two-piece button. And right now, I can't tell what it is. We're gonna go and we're gonna clean it off. You guys can see it right there. Just came out of the ground. So we're gonna wipe it off and let's see what we got here, guys. Might be something really special. Uh, I'll clean it off and I'm gonna let you guys know what it is. Let's take a look and see what we got. Fifty nine here. Let's see if it's a repeatable. Sixty one, sixty two. This is probably a shotgun shell, but we're gonna go after it just for the simple case. There's been a lot of military buttons dug in this one location. So we just can't we just can't pass on some of these. Not sure what that is. Is that maybe an old piece of lead? Some sort. Had sort of a funky sound to it. Uh, so we dug it. That's what it looks like, old piece of lead. Okay. We got a 6770. This might be a shotgun shell. Y'all hear it? Uh, we're gonna dig it. Uh, we dug a lot of shotgun shells. They were they were waylaying out here for sure. We got it out. But it is a shotgun shell. Got a okay. strong 73-74. I think this is iron. Um, big iron, possibly. But we're going to crack this hole open and see. Could be a button. Could be a button. But uh, let's see what we get out of here. Unusual. Well, we got something, guys. It is an artifact of some sort. I'm not real sure. Could it be a handle? Uh, it's brass, whatever it is. 
but uh, looks like it might be off of a furniture piece maybe I don't know but it's interesting nonetheless and uh, we'll take it so it's a uh, it's a what got a 83 84 right here Eh, it might be a nail because we get a 07 we're gonna dig it though just for the simple fact it looks like somebody has already dug here wow that sure is loud for it to be a, a false and nail and it's not it's because it is looks like a um, part of a watch or a clock that's what it looks like so we were right on that one definitely had a unique sound I believe that's what it is maybe a pocket watch possibly all right guys okay. we just popped this hole open and we got a piece of a harmonica reed ringing up a 72 slightly bent which made it give it a sort of a weird sound there it is a piece of a harmonica reed they were out here playing some music while they were probably sitting around the campfire who knows there you go harmonica reed hey guys we just dug this out of the ground it looks like the top of a nice spoon you can you can see some of the design around the outside of this spoon and uh definitely a nice one there beautiful artifact came out of the soil looking looking really good i was looking to see if i could get anything off of it uh, but it's definitely got a lot of design on it you can tell uh, at the top of it but again nice part of a spoon and we'll take that uh, we're using the xp deus 2 with the nine inch coil we're using the sensitive program today we're running a little bit different than what we normally run and um, we're digging some artifacts with this and I really like the setup I don't think you dig quite as much iron as you would with sensitive full tones so um, I think with the 0.71 filters I think that uh, that makes a big big difference um, you know if you're using sensitive full tones great at unmasking uh, but in probably in the situation that I'm in right now um, you know I'm just out scouring and looking for targets so uh, the sensitive program seems to be working really really well okay we will catch you guys on the next find gopro stop hey recording guys, so we just opened up this hole it looks like we got us a nice umbrella parasol here this is a big one too so you guys can see it um rang up a 74 on the xp day is two uh running sensitive program we're using the nine inch coil and uh, we're digging artifacts so we've gotten a spoon we've gotten a military button a eagle general service button and uh now we got a nice little umbrella parasol here uh and we got a harmonica reed so we've, we're digging a couple of artifacts uh this place has been hunting pretty good uh over the years so uh we'll take those finds we're gonna keep after it uh, we're almost wrapping up our hunt but we're gonna keep hunting probably for another 30 45 minutes see what else we can find and if we find something we're gonna bring it to you so uh we will catch you guys on the next find okay all right guys we got a 73 it's not a real pure signal it's got me a little bit worried but we're gonna we're gonna dig this see what we get um this site again has been hunted pretty hard by a bunch of people and uh not a lot of targets left in here it is loaded with iron got it and it's a piece of melted lead that's what it looks like not sure what that was this looks like just some melted lead melted lead 
weird looking. Definitely strange looking. Almost looks like a gun when you turn it that way. But a piece of melted lead, a lot of these old uh, cabins and things on these plantations, that's what you're gonna find, a lot of melted lead. All right guys, we just dug us a tag. I think these were like one of those, I don't know, timber tags. And it says on there, October 1906. So pretty old looking tag from 1906. And it says something department. I can't make it out, but we'll clean it up. But uh, definitely from a long time ago, you guys get a good look at it. Hopefully you can see it. But um, again, Still out here digging artifacts. We'll take that.